As the decade draws to a close, these performances deserve a standing ovation. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best performances of the decade. This is playing on the vineyard. Blue moon. I used to know the words. We're taking a look at some outstanding performances from actors and actresses between the years 2010 and 2019. We'll be basing our picks on a mix of awards recognition, critical praise, and overall impact on the film medium. Let's get to it. And I am Iron Man. Number 10. Jesse Eisenberg, The Social Network Going into this decade, Eisenberg was written off as a Michael Sarah clone. That all changed when the young actor escaped into the role of Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. While some have called this film's historical accuracy into question, there's no denying that Zuckerberg became one of the world's most influential, powerful, and controversial figures before even turning 25. I believe I deserve some recognition from this board. Eisenberg captures this to a T, depicting Zuckerberg as a tech genius who's awkward yet assertive, timid yet intimidating, and generally the smartest one in the room. You have part of my attention, you have the minimum amount. Even when he's not the smartest person present, Zuckerberg's definitely the richest, and he's well aware of this. In addition to Eisenberg's multi-layered portrayal, Andrew Garfield delivered a breakout performance as Eduardo Saverin, Zuckerberg's friend slash business partner turned bitter enemy. I'm not signing those papers. We will get the signature. Tell me this isn't about me getting into the Phoenix. Number nine, Daniel Day-Lewis, Lincoln. Daniel Day-Lewis only starred in two movies this decade. What his filmography lacked in quantity, though, Day-Lewis more than made up for in quality, as is always the case. While it was tempting to single out his sublime swan song performance in Phantom Thread, What precisely is the nature of my game? Day-Lewis's Oscar-winning turn as Abraham Lincoln was nothing short of transcendent. We're stepped out upon the world stage now, now! With the fate of human dignity in our hands! Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment now, now, now! With a real-life figure as iconic as Lincoln, it's hard to separate the actor from the legend. In this biopic, however, we never see a performance. We see America's 16th president incarnate. I've never seen the like of it before, what I've seen today. Day-Lewis is simultaneously humble and commanding, which is exactly how one would envision the real Lincoln. The authenticity of Day-Lewis's performance makes Lincoln's inevitable fate all the more devastating, guaranteeing you'll shed a tear by the final curtain. Number 8. Leonardo DiCaprio, The Wolf of Wall Street With another actor in the role, this movie's portrayal of Jordan Belfort probably would have been easy to despise. With Leonardo DiCaprio playing the titular Wolf of Wall Street, though, Belfort is a figure we strangely admire, and at times even envy. DiCaprio plays Belfort with the conviction of the world's greatest salesman. Sell me this pen. Even with the knowledge that he's an unreliable narrator who's committed deplorable deeds, DiCaprio makes Belfort impossible to resist. All at once, DiCaprio becomes an unrelenting stockbroker, an untamable party animal, and an untouchable god among men. I can't go down the It's funny, it's three feet of water down there! I will not! Die sober! DiCaprio also brings out Belfort's vulnerability as the authorities and reality slowly but surely begin to close in on him. While you can take away Belfort's fortune and freedom, nobody can take away his natural charisma. <laughs> Number 7. Rosamund Pike, Gone Girl Although she'd already established herself as an actress, Rosamund Pike's riveting work in Gone Girl made audiences feel as if they were seeing her for the first time. You think you'd be happy with a nice Midwestern girl? No way, baby. I'm it. Pike's performance as Amy Elliott Dunn snuck up on us in more ways than one. Pike initially paints Amy as a fragile woman who's trapped in a struggling marriage and living in the shadow of a children's book series she inspired. Because sometimes, the way he looks at me, I think 
man of my dreams, father of my child, this man of mine may kill me. As Gone Girl shifts to Amy's perspective, Pike removes her mask to reveal a manipulative, diabolical mastermind who's pulling everyone's strings. For Valentine's Day, I thought I'd buy a gun. That is how crazy I've become. Nick wants me gone, but he won't ask for a divorce. Cheeky, charming, complex, and creepy, Pike leaves the viewer constantly guessing what Amy will do next. Pike never goes too over the top in the role, however, creating a psychopath who's surprisingly and hauntingly believable. Number 6. Natalie Portman, Black Swan Of all the performances we saw this decade, none took our breath away like Natalie Portman's in Black Swan. Literally watching Portman fearlessly throw herself into the role of Nina Sayers is an exhausting experience. Portman is so arresting that we practically feel the physical and psychological struggles Nina endures throughout the film. When we're introduced to Nina, she's as delicate as a porcelain doll and as innocent as a little girl. When I look at you, all I see is the white swan. Yes, you're beautiful, fearful, fragile, ideal casting. Years of sexual repression and the pressure to be perfect gradually begin to unravel Nina's mind, leaving us to wonder how far she'll go to become the Swan Queen. Just as Nina evolves from a white swan to a black swan, Portman delivers a transformative performance that won her the Best Actress Oscar. That was perfect. Number 5. J.K. Simmons – Whiplash J.K. Simmons has been one of the 21st century's most consistently entertaining character actors. He landed the role of a lifetime in Whiplash, winning an Academy Award for his chilling performance as jazz instructor Terence Fletcher. That's great. Yeah, it's all right. This merciless teacher conducts his band with the ferocity of a drill sergeant. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? Mm -hmm. Within seconds, Fletcher can go from being calm and reasonable to chucking a symbol at a student's head. In Fletcher's mind, his brutal methods are justified as long as students reach their full potential, even if a few get pushed beyond their limits. As cold-blooded as Fletcher can be, Simmons unearths the character's humanity. And that's more than most people ever do, and I will never apologize for how I tried." He molds Fletcher into a Shakespearean antagonist who vindicates every cruel action he commits in the name of making beautiful music. Number 4. Mahershala Ali – Moonlight Moonlight caught many audiences off guard, and the same can be said about Mahershala Ali's Oscar-winning performance as Juan. If you crossed Juan on the street, you may assume that he's merely a thug. While Juan is a drug dealer who's made many mistakes, there's more to him than meets the eye. Despite putting up a tough front, Juan is an accepting and even gentle soul who takes young Chiron under his nurturing wing. Get your head, rest of my head. Relax. I got you, I promise. I'm not gonna let you go. Had life dealt him a different hand, Juan likely wouldn't have resorted to criminal activity to survive. Juan doesn't excuse his actions, though, living with the burden that he's part of a larger problem. Do you sell drugs? Although he's only present for the first act, Ali's understated, deeply human performance gives the film a heartbeat. Number 3. Tony Collette – Hereditary In Hereditary, Tony Collette is both the most terrifying presence on screen and the person primarily being terrified. I, I just want to die! As this psychological horror film unfolds, we're not sure if the grief-stricken Annie is succumbing to her own insanity or an evil entity creeping into her house. But you can't take responsibility for anything! So now I can't accept. And I can't forgive! Either way, Colette makes the character empathetic while also making her downright blood-curdling. We see a woman doing everything in her power to keep it together, but it's only a matter of time until she crumbles to pieces. 
When that moment finally comes, Colette turns into a wrecking ball of sheer terror. Although Colette didn't receive a Best Actress Oscar nomination, she's given an immortal performance that ranks alongside Linda Blair in The Exorcist and Mia Farrow in Rosemary's Baby. Number 2. Jake Gyllenhaal, Nightcrawler Speaking of performances that went overlooked by the Academy, how did Jake Gyllenhaal not get an Oscar nomination for Nightcrawler? Gyllenhaal is the definition of eerie as Louis Bloom, an ambitious sociopath with a phony grin, a knack for negotiating, and no moral code. I bet you're beautiful any time of the day. In fact, I'd say you're much prettier than Lisa Mays. <laughs> it's never revealed where Bloom came from. For all we know, he's a robot trying to blend in with society. That would explain why Bloom is seemingly deprived of anything resembling a soul, showing zero empathy for the victims he captures on tape and conspiring against anyone who stands in his way. What if my problem wasn't that I don't understand people, but that I don't like them? What if I was obliged to hurt you for something like this? I mean, physically. Jillian Hall strikes just the right balance of being charming and heartless. You keep talking like it's something that I may be interested in, but I'm not. Without even raising his voice, Jillian Hall can crawl under your skin and send a shiver up your spine. Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler is absolutely terrifying, but that's what makes that movie so iconic. But our number one pick is even more amazing. Here are some honorable mentions. You don't be what they made you. And I know, I know you pay for the lies you tell. So you still the wreck, huh? Still here. 500 pounds of cotton, day in, day out. More than any man here. You already know my name. And you can see that I'm a machine. Number one, Joaquin Phoenix, the master. Throughout the past decade, no actor took more chances or excited us more than Joaquin Phoenix. As Arthur Fleck, Phoenix took the Joker to another realm of realism and dread. They couldn't carry a tune to save their lives. Oh, why is everybody so upset about these guys? If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. Yet Phoenix's turn as Freddy Quell might have been the most personal performance of his esteemed career. Freddy is a World War II veteran who wanders through life without purpose until he joins a cult. Or if you figure a way to live without serving a master, any master, then let the rest of us know, will you? Likewise, Phoenix was part of a cult as a child and has faced his fair share of trauma. Phoenix draws on his own experiences as a lost soul searching for somewhere to belong and someone to believe in. I'm not in it. Window, and I can leave anytime I want. But I choose not to, I choose to stay here. Phoenix's daring performance not only makes for a fascinating character study, but a thought-provoking example of how art imitates life and vice versa. Joaquin Phoenix sure had an array of amazing performances this decade. Can you say Oscar? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.